1987, it was the end of Masters of the Universe. Mattel could no longer ignore the declining sales of the line and set their sights on the future. With Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, a live-action series set on Earth in the year 2147 after the Metal Wars, where man fought machine and machine won. Captain Jonathan Power and his team of highly trained soldiers of the future are mankind's last hope against Lord Dread and the evil Biodread Empire, who are hunting down the last remaining humans and digitizing them. The first series of toys had six figures, two vehicles, a throne for Lord Dread, and an energizer for Captain Power. And today, we're taking a look at the hero himself, Captain Power, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we're checking out Captain Power from the 1987 Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future toy line by Mattel. Captain Jonathan Power is the son of Dr. Stuart Gordon Power, who, with his closest associate, Dr. Lyman Taggart, developed Overmind, a supercomputer with the ability to override the world's armed forces biomechs, thus ending all war. Impatient that Overmind was not complete, Dr. Taggart links himself to the system and then becomes obsessed with the merging of man and machine, eventually becoming the cyborg Lord Dread. Dr. Power designed special power suits for his son Jonathan and an elite team as they fight for mankind against the evil Biodread Empire. And now that we know a bit more about Captain Power, let's take a closer look. Captain Power has a pretty good face sculpt overall. I do like how it looks. My only complaint is that his visor is not over his eyes. On the show, it did cover his eyes, and it seems like if you're fighting your dad's old friend, you'd want to protect your identity. And I, Lord Dread, will subjugate the human race. Ha, ha, ha. And we'll be there to stop you, Lord Dread. What? Is that you, little Johnny Power? No, no, of course not. Why... I remember when you were just a little boy. No, no you don't. Yeah, I knew your father. I remember when you used to make poopy in your diapy. No, no, I never did that. Of course he did. He used to make poopy in his no, diapy. No, no, I never made poopy in my diapy. Oh, he did. Shut up. Shut up, uh, shut up, shut up, uh, shut up, uh, shut up. Shut he up, used up, to make the up, biggest up, poopy up. in his diapies. Anyway, as you can see, the vac metal chrome finish still looks pretty good. And right here, you can see the Energizer light. There was an Energizer accessory that was sold separately. And when you hook Captain Power to it, it would shine light through the port and make it look like his armor was powering up. Here on the side of his arms, he's got some cables that possibly augment his strength. And his legs are fully armored with thigh, knee, and shin guards. I have to say, sometimes the gold coloring of Captain Power makes me think of C-3PO. Here on the back of the figure, you get a much better look at the port for the Energizer. And now I guess we're going to go ahead and hit up the articulation. Captain Power has a 90 degree bend at the knee, and he has a ball joint hip, although it doesn't move much. The waist doesn't have any articulation, but the shoulder can flex out as well as up. The elbow has a 90 degree bend to it and the head can turn right and left, and that is it. That covers all nine points of articulation for Captain Power. Captain Power does have one included accessory. It is his laser gun. You can see it looks like it's got a magazine here on the bottom, as well as a scope on the top. There's some okay details molded into it, and of course the peg here is how he holds the gun. It also looks exactly the same on both sides. Captain Power's right hand is molded into a fist, so you just slot it in like so, and he holds onto it pretty firmly. And even though it's kind of a generic design, it still looks pretty cool in his hand. Captain Power's copyright date is on the inside of his right leg, but instead of saying Mattel, it says LEG 1986. And then on his lower back, you see Malaysia. And now for our He-Man size comparison, he-Man and Captain Power are from the same company, Mattel. So technically, that means Captain Power is He-Man's little brother. And unfortunately, he had to live in his big brother's shadow. So, you were supposed to replace me, eh? Yeah, that was the idea. But you only made it one year. I made it five years. So what's your point? Don't you get it, Captain? 
I have the power. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Captain Power from the 1987 toy line Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future by Mattel. I loved this show growing up, but unfortunately I only saw a handful of episodes before it was canceled due to parent groups hating on it because of its intense violence. That's probably why I liked it so much. It was basically kid-friendly Terminator all the way down to men named John leading the resistance. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday, so I hope to see you next week and every week after, here on Creed's Collection.